Stephen, a little bit to talk about, more than you guys have had for a while. Well, yeah, I mean, we finally had some rain to talk about. You talk about having a, something warm to drink. Right. Uh, you're going to want something warm to drink uh, as we head into the morning uh, temperatures here over the next several days. That's just a little tease here. I mean, not only fall cool air, but I mean, it is frankly going to get cold uh, here in a couple of days compared to what we've had recently. You just saw the shot from Gathering Place went past it here. Also, Bartlesville, uh, the further north you go, the, the better chance you're going to have for some sun breaks today. So Bartlesville, you're one of those spots that I think we'll see a few more sun breaks at times today. Even here in the metro, we'll see that further south. Clouds will remain thicker. Still some rain hanging on in southeastern Oklahoma right now, uh, starting to trend further towards the Red River. So most of this now just in the floor county. And then kind of the more widespread rains are across northern and uh, northern northeastern Texas, southern Arkansas. You see the kind of trailing area of light moisture, light rain continues in southern Oklahoma, western Oklahoma, the Texas Panhandle. That will shift to the east, but a lot of that's going to fall apart. So that's why we're not anticipating too much more in the way of rain, especially not in northeastern Oklahoma, but even southeastern counties south of I-40, your rain chances start to diminish as we head into the midday hours. I'm showing you the wide view national temperatures don't always do this. But why? Well, well, uh, look how cold it's getting into the northern plains. This time of year, of course, they start to get pretty chilly there. Say the Dakotas, you see it's in the upper 20s, low 30s. Well, uh, see those readings? You might want to get used to that. As we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday around here in eastern Oklahoma, it's going to get pretty cold in a hurry. A, a big time, strong area, high pressure comes sliding south uh, over the next about 24 to 48 hours. Some very, very dry air with this system, even by uh, winter standards. It's obviously not winter yet, but by winter standards, this cold air mass that we're going to have coming in, dry air mass, is going to be impressive. And that leads us into not only cold temperatures, but record cold uh, morning temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday, at least for some of us. We'll get to that in just a second. As far as today goes, it's going to be a really, really nice Sunday to be outside. Still some lingering moisture, lingering showers to the south. Uh, about 70 degrees under the cloud cover southeastern Oklahoma, low to mid-70s. Uh, Tulsa to the north, where we see a few more sun breaks at times, a nice north breeze. Make some outdoor plans. It's going to be a really nice one. Tomorrow morning, a chilly start, uh, upper 30s, low 40s on the map. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to have more sunshine tomorrow, but it's going to be a lot cooler than today. Even with full sunshine, we're looking at highs, low to mid 60s, even cooler in uh, areas north and east of Tulsa. And now here we go into Tuesday morning. Uh, Tulsa, north and northeast of Tulsa, first freeze of the season likely and actually maybe a hard freeze. You get below about 28 degrees. That's considered a hard freeze in our northern northeastern counties on Tuesday. Southeastern Oklahoma, you might escape the freeze Tuesday morning. Not going to happen Wednesday morning, though. I mean, look at these lows for Wednesday. Well into the 20s, there could be some low 20s uh, in areas like Bartlesville, Coffeeville, Vanita, Miami. So cold conditions headed our way for the middle of the week compared to just a couple days ago when it was feeling like summertime in some spots. It's a roller coaster ride, though. So you can see we really drop those temperatures significantly the next about three to four days. But as quickly as we get cold, Look what happens. We rebound again Thursday, Friday, Saturday, back to warm conditions just in time for the weekend next weekend.